Hi everyone, this is Sharon. Welcome to Tag Team Friday. In today's tutorial, we are going to be making one of these pretty tags that can also be used as a bookmark. I used some book spine images from the premium membership site to make these and if you would like to make your own, come and follow me. So this is the book spine that we are going to use for our tag today. This one came from the Steampunk Adventures Bundle and the title is Five Weeks in a Balloon. And to find the spines, what I did was I went to the premium membership site and I searched book spines and these five came up. And I was pretty happy with that because they're all different colors and they're just beautiful. They look nice together. So I decided to make a tag from each one of these. Um, but this is the one we're gonna work with today. For the tags um, that I made, I printed the spines on linen paper, and I just thought that would give it more of that cloth book cover feel to it, give it a little more texture, so that's what this is printed on. I printed on paper, and then I backed it with a piece of scrap cardstock. Now, you could print directly onto cardstock. I do that once in a while, but most of the time I like to print to paper rather than cardstock because I get a little bit better quality with my printer. But if you print it on cardstock, it would actually be a much faster process. So I'm going to back this particular one with this piece of cheesecloth. So I cut that to size two so it would just hang over the edge on each side a little bit. Now, some of the other ones that I made, I used just a regular cotton cloth to go around and and um, kind of edge that border it but this one i'm going to use cheesecloth so what i'm going to do to adhere that to the back is i'm just going to put some glue on the back of my tag and i'm just using a permanent glue stick for that that i found works pretty well with adhering cheesecloth to paper the cheesecloth is quite thin, so it doesn't take much to glue it on. So I've got that coated with some glue, and then I'm just going to put that on there and just kind of smooth it out a little bit. And that's going to stick pretty well. And then what I thought I would do for the back of this one, my intention was to stamp the cheesecloth with a flower stamp like I did on this one. Um, cheesecloth takes a stamp pretty well. And I was kind of testing out my stamps and I put this one on a piece of old book page and then I decided oh, maybe I'll just put that and do some collaging on the back instead of stamping directly onto the cheesecloth. So I just tore around that stamp and I'm going to set that on here. And I also found a piece of old ledger on my desktop that I was using for another project. So I think I'll just kind of layer that underneath the flower. And then I also thought I'd put a label at the bottom and I just made my own label. This image came from this piece, which is part of the Hallie Quinn Brown Bundle. And what I did was I just cut out a little section of the top and then I stitched around it with some stitching. You don't have to do the stitching. Um, and then I will glue that on there. Now, before I glue all these down, what I thought I would do is also do a little top stitching around my spine. And that will just finish it off a little bit. So I'm going to go do that and I'll be right back. Okay, I've got my tag stitched all the way around. I don't know if you can see that, but I like the way it looks and it just finishes it off a little bit. Not necessary, of course. Um, so now we are going to do our collage on the back of the tag. So I'm going to put my um, ledger book piece down first. And I had that kind of over in this, maybe up in there somewhere. And then I'm going to add, I'm using art glitter glue for this. Put 
my flower piece down. And I mean, you could really experiment with just about anything on the backs of your tags. If you wanted writing space, you could just um, adhere some writing paper. And now we'll put our little label on the bottom. So that's the back of our bookmark tag. Now for the top, I thought I would add a tie to the top. So I'm going to um, set an eyelet. And I'll show you some other options at the end of the video if you don't want to set an eyelet. I'm using one of these little brass ones. And then I'll use my crop dial to set that. Okay. And now I will insert a ribbon into that hole. And I just pulled this really dark, kind of an army green color one. I thought that would go well with the burnt orange. And I'm just going to thread that through. And then just tie a knot at the top. Hopefully I have enough so I can get that in there. <laughs> it always looks like it's plenty, but then when you try to tie knots, you run into trouble. All right. There we go. So I like the way that looks at the top. And that is it, our completed bookmark tag. And we can take a look at some of the other ones I made as well. So this is the red one, and I put an eyelet in the top of this one and some twine. And like I mentioned, I just used some cotton cloth. And I sandwiched the cloth in between this piece and a piece of cardstock. And then I covered the cardstock with this pretty image. It's a paint sample from uh, the Artist Bundle. I just love the blues and greens in that. And then this green one, I also added a ribbon at the top with a an eyelet and sandwich, some fabric in between. And then on the back side of this one, I just added this pretty botanical from the British Flower Guide Bundle. I thought that was nice. And then this next one, the blue one, I did not do an eyelet. What I did for this one is, again, I sandwiched, um, well, I didn't sandwich. I actually just backed it with the fabric and left the fabric because I liked the way it looked on the back, so I kept the fabric back. I didn't add, what I did was um, attach this to the cardstock like I did this one, and then stitched it to the fabric. And then what I did was I sewed a button on the back this pretty button and then I brought the threads through on the, to the front side and just made a bow on the front with that one so that's another option for embellishing the top and then I just hung a few little uh, dangles on there I went to the site and searched quotes and I thought some good author quotes would um, go well with the book theme of these tags so I just added some quotes on there and a little piece of the extra fabric on the back and then this last one I again used the cheesecloth for my fabric and I embellished this one um, with a velvet ribbon and some lace on the top and then like I showed you I did I just stamped directly onto the cheesecloth on the back I added a little bit of lace on the back as well on this one and just um, took a pin and again added a couple of quotes from the Roses a Rose bundle and a piece of scrap fabric on that one as well. 
So those are my bookmark tags. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial today and that you'll give it a try. Um, there's just unlimited ways you can embellish these, so have a go. Thanks for joining me, and until next time, bye-bye.